My name's Peter French. I'm the president of Cafe Commerce, and it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome you all here this morning. Uh, there's a first order of business. I think I have to take a selfie. Isn't that what you have to do with these things now? Is that what happens here? So we do this. Jeez. All right, so this is uh, one more, just in case. Um, this is a really exciting thing. It's a really exciting place. I can't thank Axion Texas and the city of San Antonio enough for the hard work that they've put into making uh, this a reality. Uh, but the first thing I get to do uh, is introduce myself, which is kind of fun. So uh, don't Wikipedia any of this, don't fact check any of it, and I'll just uh, tell you lots of good stories. But uh, uh, I'm a husband and a father of three, a uh, graduate of Trinity University. I'm an entrepreneur, real estate developer, uh, sometimes photographer, uh, and I'm a problem solver. And I'm a big thinker. I do lots of thinking, and I hope to do lots of problem solving. And what our goal here is, is to help lots of small businesses and entrepreneurs solve problems and make San Antonio a better and a greater city. And that's really the point of Cafe Commerce, to bring people together, to help them gain access to resources, and to help them find the solutions that they want and need and make uh, this community greater. Um, we're going to have uh, a number of, uh, of great folks join us uh, up here this morning. Uh, the first of which is our friend, uh, Gene Brady, who is uh, the chairman of the board of the San Antonio Library. Um, and I just want to say a few things uh, about Jean. She, we visited earlier. Uh, she has really been at the forefront of both economic development and innovation and education initiatives, not just for the library, but for the benefit of the city. She has a future perspective uh, on how to leverage this space and spaces like it. Uh, to benefit the public. We're thrilled to be a part of that mission, thrilled to help you take the San Antonio Library into the 21st century. And with that, may I please introduce Gene Brady. Well, good morning, you all. So glad that you're here with us today. On behalf of the library trustees, I congratulate Cafe Commerce for taking part of our wonderful space. We're very proud to be part of this. We appreciate that the Central Library has been cho chosen as home to Cafe Commerce, and we believe that it only emphasizes the importance of the role of the library in the community and in Bear County. Through information, imagination, and ideas, the library aims to empower the community with the tools, resources, and environment they need to change their lives. Our partnership is a testament to that goal. In fact, we have a lot of collaborative projects. We have NowCast, Charlotte Ann's here with our group here. They make their home here with us. We have <clears throat> the Maria Schwartz Art Resource Center on the second floor, which is a collaboration with the Southwest School of Art. And they com confirm our commitment to turning spaces into places. The transformation of a space into a creative and vibrant place involves rethinking the physical environment and creating a destination and an experience. We have the connect area. It will be right in between the two places of Cafe Commerce, and how appropriate. It is a space that has been turned into a vibrant place. <clears throat> we have digital. We've been digital since 2007. We offer access to over 30,000 e-books, almost 17,000 audio books, thousands of movies, music, television shows, and magazines. We continue to strive to meet the ever-changing internet-connected world. And we believe that Cafe Commerce will serve as the resource for entrepreneurs, small business owners, and members of the community who truly want to change their lives. So behalf, on behalf of the library, I thank you so much for being here. We invite you to take a look at our wonderful, fabulous Central Library. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jean. And uh, we echo your sentiments uh, about creating a place 
that provides access to information uh, in a next generation way. Uh, next, I would like to introduce the elected officials who are here joining us this morning. We're very pleased uh, with the turnout we have, and, uh, and I can't thank you all enough for being here. Um, let's see, going down the list, I know we have uh, District 1, Councilman Diego Bernal. Thank you very much. <laughs> District 2, Councilwoman Ivy Taylor. Uh, District 5, Councilwoman Shirley Gonzalez. <laughs> District 6, Councilman Ray Lopez. <laughs> District 7, Councilman Chris Medina is uh, hopefully here, maybe almost here. Uh, we have uh, Minerva Sanchez with us, representing Senator Leticia Vandepute's office. Thank you. and City Manager Cheryl Scully. Thank you. And if I have missed anyone, uh, thank you for joining us and, uh, and we are very pleased to have you. Um, next on our agenda is uh, one more uh, elected official who is with us, and I believe his name is Mayor Julian Castro, name you've probably heard. Uh, <laughs> And I would just say that, uh, Mayor, it is your vision and leadership uh, that have brought us here today. And I'm also pretty sure it's your vision and leadership that brought a fifth NBA championship to the San Antonio Spurs. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Peter. And we're uh, ecstatic about your leadership here at Cafe Commerce. We appreciate all of the hours that you have already put in in, in bringing this to fruition. Uh, I also just want to take a moment to recognize uh, Councilman Nuremberg, who is also here in the audience with us. Uh, thank you for being here. And uh, to our Chamber Chair, uh, Chamber President Richard Bettis, thank you very much, Richard, for being here. Uh, I also want to take a moment to, to thank uh, Jean Brady. You know, Jean and the uh, Board of Trustees of the Library have done a phenomenal job uh, over the last few years in making our library a 21st century library and uh, all San Antonians and folks really in this region are the beneficiaries of that. So thank you, Jean, for your great work here at the library. Uh, we also, I also want to recognize uh, and say thanks to our city manager, uh, Cheryl Scully, who I know is here, uh, as well as Rene Dominguez, uh, Alejandra Lopez, and uh, Ramiro Salazar from our library. Where are they at? Thank you all very much. And of course, uh, to the Accion uh, staff, I see Selena Pena here. I want to thank Janie Barrera her, for her great effort. Uh, this is a very special day uh, for San Antonio because uh, one of the primary goals of SA 2020 is to ensure that San Antonio is as economically competitive as we can be in this 21st century economy. Uh, and to do that, it takes different efforts. It takes the efforts of our Economic Development Foundation that goes out and helps recruit investment into the city. Uh, it takes uh, efforts of uh, the City Economic Development Department and the County Economic Development Department, of course, all the great work that happens in the private sector. It also takes a focus on growing small businesses. We know that today in our city, small businesses contribute more than three quarters of the jobs and that in the last few years, especially businesses that are younger than five years old have contributed the lion's share of new jobs. And for that reason, we determined a couple of years ago that it made sense to appoint a small business task force to look at how San Antonio could get smarter about cultivating small business entrepreneurship in our city. I'm happy to see that we have so many folks uh, who participated in that effort and also small business owners who themselves have been out there each and every day pounding the pavement, doing what it takes to be successful. Uh, a few years ago, I was in a used bookstore in town and I came across this book, The Businesses That Built San Antonio. It was put out by the chamber in the 1980s and it was a fascinating read about all of the different companies, large and small, that had contributed to the prosperity that we know today in San Antonio, reading about names like Zachary and Frost and Santicos and uh, others. And today I see many folks in the room who are building their own story, G.P. Singh and Johnny Hernandez, 
and uh, Patricia Stout and others, what we want in this city through Cafe Commerce is to have one place where if you're a person who has an idea to start a business, you know that you can come here to find the information and resources you need to get started. If you're a small business owner that wants to grow your business and needs some advice that will help you do that, this is the place to come. A few years ago, we started Cafe College because we knew that we needed one place where if someone had a dream of going to college, everything else aside, they could step into that place. Cafe Commerce is the space for entrepreneurs in San Antonio. I'm confident that because of what happens here, 50 years from now, another book will be written with new names in it and new companies and thousands and thousands of lives that are more prosperous because of this investment. It is, I think, the perfect marriage between our economic development efforts and the fundamental purpose of a library, which is knowledge and learning and success. And that, I think, is a recipe for great success for our beloved city in the years to come. Thank you very much. Mayor, thank you very much. Uh, we'd like to think that uh, Cafe Commerce will prove to be a legacy project, just the way that uh, SA 2020, the decade of downtown and pre-K for SA have been, uh, to create lasting change uh, in our community. Um, and with that, I would like to introduce our next speaker. Uh, Selena Pena is the Chief Program Officer for Axiom Texas. And without her tireless and hard work, uh, we would not be here. And we're very pleased to have you, Selena. Thank Thanks, you. Yeah, appreciate it. Wow, what a room. Thank you, Peter. Let me start by saying a couple of words about Peter. Now with the launch of what we believe will be a national model that strengthens small business, you need a good leader. A leader who will bring ideas and action together. A person who has the spirit of entrepreneurship in themselves and the energy to champion and support small business. We believe that's Peter, and we have full confidence that he will bring Cafe Commerce to the next level for small business in San Antonio. Peter's role is to lead, drive, meet, and exceed all our expectations. That's what presidents are for, right? But seriously, you're supposed to laugh. Peter's background from social entrepreneurship, real estate development, a family business, advocacy, and passion for high quality opportunities is why he's here with us today. He's a Trinity graduate and a leader in San Antonio. We believe we have the right captain for this ship and we here in this room need to support him along the journey with the library. To the city for recognizing small businesses key role in our economy and the library's key role in seeding and nurturing ideas and learning. Thank you, Mayor, City Council, City Manager, Rene Dominguez, Alex Lopez, Michael Sinden from the Economic Development Department, Kathy Donnellan, Caitlin Coart, Jean Brady from the Library and the Foundation. Thank you. Folks will see us here at Cafe Commerce in action, but without your vision, commitment, and response, we wouldn't be here. So let me tell you a story. Last year, my neighbor, Noah, decided to open a juice business. As he began the venture, I connected him to Axion. Over the past year, Noah met with our team about growing his business, from his marketing strategy to how he should enter manufacturing. We played a small role, but the key element was he wasn't alone. Now, one lucky duck serves up savory juices and amazing healthy food. Noah and I were just chatting on our street. Entrepreneurs shouldn't have to stumble into business support. Resources should be easily accessible, and that is why we have Cafe Commerce today. I'm inspired by the drive and the pace shown by entrepreneurs, but it's, but, but it's also necessary to provide a sounding board, a safe place for translating dreams into reality. On behalf of the team of Acción, our CEO and President Janie Barrera, we are honored and proud to be part of today in partnership with you and all our business resource partners and the businesses here today to make San Antonio even better. I really believe that this can be a national model of public and private partnerships connecting and seeding entrepreneurship 
at the library. Now Noah and many others like him can connect to key resources here at Cafe Commerce for their business success, both virtually and physically through our partner portal. They can develop business plans with SCORE here. They can work on their marketing strategy with mentors here. They can pitch their business and get in the entrepreneur mindset with Cafe Commerce. They can launch down the street at Geekdom just as well. Cafe Commerce is here to connect people, not just for entrepreneurs, but also for us as resource organizations in the city. We will see that demand and we hope to rise to the occasion and be responsive to the challenges and opportunities that face small business. So how many of you have a go-to person? You know, the person you pick up the phone, you text, no one has a go-to person? <laughs> wow. I have a couple myself, and, and more importantly, we want Cafe Commerce to be just that go-to resource for entrepreneurs. We don't want people to be alone. We also know that access to capital is vital to small business success. Acción is currently working with 8020 Foundation, Cafe Commerce, the WDC, Sage Central Downtown, and the city, and other partners in creating loan products that fit the needs of this business owner. These responsive products are to spur small business growth from downtown's amazing streets to the home-based business. In fact, our demand in San Antonio continues to increase. We've deployed more capital this month to small business owners than ever before, and we've provided over $40 million to 3,500 entrepreneurs in San Antonio. NOAA, along with over 100,000 self-employed entrepreneurs, and 20,000 small businesses make up the fabric of the San Antonio's vibrant entrepreneur ecosystem. They aren't alone. We have great resources here in San Antonio, and I believe that with Cafe Commerce and our partners, we elevate awareness and raise the bar that we are indeed a premier city for entrepreneurs to seed and grow their business. Thank you. Thank you very much, Selena. Uh, I wanted to say just a few more things about what Cafe Commerce will do. Uh, but before, I want to start with the why. The why for Cafe Commerce, as touched on by several of our speakers earlier, uh, is to celebrate and provide a safe place uh, where entrepreneurs can find company among each other, uh, where they can fail, where they can share the stories of their failure, Failure is maybe not a great press conference word, but it is the central uh, sort of tenant uh, of entrepreneurship, the belief uh, that through iterative effort, uh, we can improve what it is that we do. There's some things in life that you just can't learn from a book. Walking, talking, uh, how to use an iPhone. You really just have to put it in your hand and play with it. And often along the way, you fall down. And that is okay. And that's why we're here. This is a place where you can fall down. And we say this as an open invitation to our resource partners. The city has already demonstrated their willingness to go uh, on this journey uh, to explore entrepreneurship, to fill the gaps in the support network and resource network that we provide that will launch the businesses of the 21st century. And this physical space is a very, very, very important element of that. We have a great digital footprint. We've licensed wonderful technology from the Kauffman Foundation in Kansas City a program called U.S. SourceLink, which aggregates all of the resource providers in San Antonio and gives entrepreneurs and small businesses easy and efficient access to the resources they need. We've licensed other content in the form of the Kauffman Founder School, a network of fantastic interviews uh, and tutorials that anyone can access for free online at any time uh, to learn and gain valuable insights about how to handle marketing or management or HR or other pertinent business issues. And we'll be using this physical space to launch an exciting program on July 9th called One Million Cups. What's particularly exciting about the One Million Cups program is that they only license chapters of One Million Cups to entrepreneurs. So when I first called the Coffin Foundation and explained that I was the president of a new economic development organization, they said, that's lovely, but that's not who gets to run One Million Cups. And I said, time out, wait a minute. I am a real entrepreneur. I've won and earned and lost money, mine and other people's, so I think that counts, right? And they said, yes, it does, you're okay. I'm pleased to have Selena Pena as a co-organizer along with Zach Harris uh, with Monk's Toolbox. And we'll be having our first One Million Cups uh, get together, as I said, July 9th, right here. You can apply online, uh, code up. I see our friend 
uh, Michael Girdley in the back. They will be our very first One Million Cups presenter. Our second slot is still open, so please get your applications in. Unlike some other pitch contests, it's not just for the purpose of getting money. Uh, One Million Cups is about bringing the community together to have a Q&A, to explore business, to explore opportunity, and to enhance the network of entrepreneurs. Um, many other things that will happen here in the training rooms, in the partner rooms, in the meeting rooms. We really need your input, your help, your ideas to populate this space. It's an exciting journey we're going to go on. One of the things I'm most excited about is who owns the Ice House, a fantastic program developed in Cleveland uh, by a man named Gary Schoeniger uh, in partnership with a Pulitzer Prize winning author, author Clifton Talbert uh, that describes the timeless and invaluable aspects uh, that create the entrepreneurial mindset. We think this is going to be key to transforming San Antonio and we believe that this curriculum can be delivered both in the classroom for grade school students even, through high school, into college, and for people maybe coming out of military service, but it provides the basis and the framework and the foundation for understanding that each of us has the ability to empower ourselves to change the world and environment we live in, whether it's a business issue, a family issue, a personal issue, a social issue, the tenets of entrepreneurship, the mindset of entrepreneurship, asking why things are the way they are, and what each of us can do to change them. That is what we really hope to spread. That's the message we want to spread. People who've been spreading that message are all around us. And I'd like to acknowledge a few of them. The mayor was kind enough to do so previously. Uh, two organizations that were central to the build out of this space are here with us today. One is Davila Construction. They're award-winning minority-owned contractor. They're also a family-owned business, which I have uh, sort of personal admiration for. Uh, 57 years old, they're in their second generation, uh, and without their leadership, this space would not be what it is. So I just wanted to uh, say thank you and acknowledge uh, Davila's great efforts. Someone else that you'll be hearing from in just a little, in a little bit is Straight Line Management, and we have uh, our friend here, and I'll let her tell her story, but uh, another wonderful minority-owned business. Uh, coming from the east side um, and uh, really demonstrating what uh, the entrepreneurial mindset can do in terms of empowering, uh, you know, economic advancement and social advancement. And they're just doing fantastic things in the community and we're thrilled to have Straight Line with us here today as well. Uh, I want to thank Ethel Shipton, who is a local artist and entrepreneur who created the fantastic installations you see and the wonderful magnetic art and really gives uh, this space a, uh, a particularly San Antonio flair. So thank you to Ethel. Uh, I know she's here somewhere. There you go. <laughs> and we have Axion Client and Tasty Baker, El Sol Bakery, who's provided our, uh, our goodies this morning. So thank you to uh, El Sol Bakery as well. And next up, I have Dr. G.P. Singh and Sharika Arch, and please join me on the stage. Uh, both of them are entrepreneurs. Both bring a unique perspective uh, to the value that entrepreneurship has brought to their life. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce Dr. G.P. Singh. Thank you so much. Isn't this a wonderful space? for meetings and for entrepreneurs to come here and get information. Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> you know, I'm going to talk to you from two perspectives. One is as an entrepreneur and a mentor for small businesses, high technology businesses, but I'll also talk to you as a board member of Exxon Texas. So I can tell you, I started my business in 1986, and when I needed some information, for any kind of information, how to do market. I was a professor before I started the business, so I had no clue how do you market, what's overhead, what's G&A, how do you put a business plan together. Getting information was very difficult. There was one bookstore in town called Bookstop. Anybody remember that? On I-10 and Wurzbach, that was my information resource. If they had it, great, if they didn't have it, you go to the library, maybe you find something, maybe you don't. And so get, coming across information was such a problem. 
In today, inter internet was not invented, by the way. Those of you who are young, you may not believe this, but internet did not <laughs> exist. And 30 years later, nearly 30 years later, now we have internet, we have access to a lot of information. And now what do we have? Information overload. You need a place to go to and a person to go to perhaps who can act as a concierge for you to guide you through the jungle of information which is out there. And I think that is what cafe commerce will do for entrepreneurs. It used to take a lot of time to find information. Now it takes a lot of time to sift through information. And this is where somebody like Peter and his staff and folks like uh, business advisors who will be working with Peter can really help entrepreneurs. And I'm really delighted to see that City has taken the initiative to recognize that small businesses are the backbone of this country, of this city, and this country. And most of the jobs are created by small businesses. One of the things which was very interesting to me when I started the business is to learn that 97% of the businesses employed less than 10 people. And the reason they employed less than 10 people was because the entrepreneur was too busy and the entrepreneur themselves not growing and developing. They made enough money so they were happy, they didn't really have to do any more. But if you have the education resources at you and you could grow and develop yourself, imagine the possibilities, imagine what you could do. And I was very fortunate that I was able to create a business where we employed 425 people. And it was all because of education and self-development and willingness to change the way you do business. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you, all the city staff who's put it together. And I think it will be a great facility for the entrepreneurs and small business owners. Let me also speak to you on behalf of the, uh, as a member of the board of Exion, Texas. Exion, as you know, provides small business loans. It is a great organization. They serve the community that nobody else wants to serve. I love organizations like that. They do a great job. And uh, City had issued an RFP to start Cafe Commerce. Uh, Janie Barrera, you know, great CEO, by the way, I love her for her energy and enthusiasm and what she has done and created a model in, in the United States for micro lending. She brought that to the board uh, for approval whether we should participate it, in it or not. Board was very enthusiastic because part of what we see Exion doing is not only giving loans but providing an educational environment for the entrepreneurs and small business people to grow. Right, not just have one restaurant, create a franchise, <laughs> right? That's the beauty. And that's what you can do if you have the informational resources um, at your fingertips and somebody to go to as Selena mentioned. So we are very, very excited. We are very happy to participate in this venture with the city uh, as Exion. And again, thank you for all of you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Singh. Uh, next up, uh, Sharika Arch, the owner of Straight Line Management, uh, a perfect example of the for entrepreneur, by entrepreneur uh, mission that we have, someone who has done it herself, and I'm pleased to let you share your story. Thank you. Thank you. I wanna thank everyone for allowing me to play a role in today's event. I want to thank Mayor Castro for um, SA 2020 initiative with small business. Um, thank the city of San Antonio. Thank Davila Construction, Axion, everyone for the opportunity as a small business to play a part in something so huge. Because originally we thought it was just uh, phase one of Cafe Commerce and uh, a small business incubator just, you know, to help the small business. But this actually has become something much larger and I feel like 
this is something I needed when I started my company five years ago. Um, me and my husband was running everywhere trying to get all the help that we needed as far as getting um, our certifications, uh, meeting all the different agencies and making sure everyone knew who we were and what we did. And it's just an excellent opportunity to have Cafe Commerce where it's all in one and you don't have to have to search everywhere for the different things that you need and you might not know that you need and it just be all in one place. Um, Straight Line Management is a construction management program management firm and we have been afforded the opportunity to do some subcontracting work in the city on larger projects with the airport and with VIA in the city of San Antonio as well. And I just want to say thank you to everyone. Um, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to be a part of Cafe Commerce before, after, during. We appreciate the opportunity as well as playing a part and doing the remodel as well with the library. Thank you. As we wrap up, there is uh, another elected official that I would like to acknowledge, and Congressman Castro, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, it was said, and I'll say it again, the for entrepreneur, by entrepreneur mantra, uh, we believe that's a statement of accountability. Uh, it's an operating ethos, and what it really means is that we're going to deliver the services and assistance that people need at the speed of business without a preconceived notion or expectation on what you have to do. We're here to deliver the solutions that people need uh, at the speed that entrepreneurs need them. Um, and that's it. And, and uh, we understand the why, as I said, but we really do, and I mean this very sincerely. Uh, Peter, period French, at cafecommercesa.org. We want to hear from each and every one of you. We want to know what other programs are being run around the country and around the world that support this sort of initiative. We want to know what ideas and programs you have and would like to run here. We'd even like you to propose things that you maybe tried before but didn't work, and maybe they'll work here. This is a place for searching, for experimenting, for finding new ways, and that's what we're here to do. Um, that is the end of the presentation. However, I would like to invite uh, the mayor and Selena and the manager, uh, Renee and uh, Jean, to join us on stage. We're going to have a, a photograph taken as we officially launch Cafe Commerce, begin operations, open the doors to serve um, the entrepreneurs and small businesses of San Antonio. Thank you all very much. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done.